Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcos Viegas here in Los Angeles, being joined with Jake Paul, who fights coming up January 30th on DAZN against Anson Gibb. Following up in the uh, footsteps of your brother, had a big fight uh, against KSI a, a few months back. First off, like, why do this? Because boxing's a difficult sport. It's not fun to get punched in the face with headgear. You're getting punched in the face without the headgear. Yeah. It's a tough way to make a living, man. Yeah, no, I think it's fun though. Like to, to me at the end of the day, I've always been competitive. So I grew up wrestling, grew up playing football, and this takes me back to my roots. So being, being able to be competitive and make a career out of it, there's nothing better than that. And I, I, I like getting hit. That shit wakes me up and makes me turn into an animal. And, uh, and, and that means the fight is on. So, uh, you know, for me, for me, it's just fun at the end of the day. And I'm a business person and it's an exciting business. And, and, and that's why I love it. When this was proposed, I know it's been like in the making for a while, even before this fight, just the YouTube boxing in general. What made you really like think that this is like a viable way to like make income outside of all the other stuff that you do? At the end of the day, I'm an entertainer. And so anything I can do to entertain, you know, I act, I make YouTube videos, I make music, uh, I direct, I just I love to entertain. And so if you're walking down the street and you see two people fighting, Everyone stops and watches that fight. It's entertaining. And so for me, this is one of the most entertaining things in the world that I could possibly do. And, that, and that's why I love it. I love being in the spotlight. I love being, you know, in front of camera and I love putting on a show. You never thought like, oh man, maybe there's an easier way to do all this stuff or, or like, you know, like did you ever think it, guess it at all? Because a lot of people don't know the stuff that gets put into doing this. It's yeah. a lot of training, a lot of dedication, a lot of hours being put in. It's hard. Yeah, no, I've never, I've never taken the easy way with anything in my life, you know. When I was 16 years old and like made the decision to move to Los Angeles to try and become an entertainer and, and work hard and that, none of that scares me. Uh, you know, I get excited by large opportunities and so this to me is just overall is just exciting and of course it's a lot of hard work but anything anything you do if you want to be successful you're gonna to have to work hard and that's the bottom line how long have you been training and doing this uh, I've been boxing for like it's been like almost two years now okay. so uh, yeah but I think I think with the amount of dedication two a days and us having one-on-one -on -one training at all times is really uh, a, a big help because we're able to advance a lot faster than normal. You know, with the two-year time, you know, you can learn a lot as well. How, how would you rate, like, your progression? Like, what would you say, like, where you're at at this point, you feel? <laughs> um, y you know, it, it, it's hard to say exactly, but I'm, I'm definitely ready for my professional debut. And I've been sparring against professionals. Uh, I beat some of them, and some of them kicked my ass. So you know, I'm in that. I'm in that. Like you're mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up. Uh, but I'm just pushing myself every every day and trying to stay as humble as possible and just get better at the sport of boxing. You know, what's been like the biggest like eye opener doing all this, in your opinion, and from uh, your experiences as well? I I would say like when my brother lost, it was like okay, don't leave this up. Don't leave the decision up to the judges and that anything can happen in the fight and you just got to be prepared for that and every second of every fight and every moment counts uh, so that's that's really that what I've focused on speaking of your brother's fight uh, you mentioned that that you didn't agree with the decision um, how was that night for you living through that aspect because now your brother's gonna be on the opposite side mm -hmm. going through what you went through a few months back I almost I almost get more nervous to watch my brother mm -hmm. uh, just because I'm not able to control what's going on. So growing up when he was wrestling, I would be like super nervous. And then when I was wrestling, I would just focus because I'm able to be in control. Uh, but yeah, you know, me and my brother are super connected and we think alike, we grew up together, we do so many things together. And so uh, when he was in that ring, it felt like I was, in, I was in the ring. And that's why I got emotional after the loss, you know, and uh, it, no one likes to lose. How emotional did you get? I cried like a bitch. Really? Yeah. yeah, straight up. Why like did you bitch. cry? Because you saw like all the time that he put into it, or was there other things? Yeah, the time, like it was so much. Like it's like our fight uh, against all this adversity that we've had to go through as brothers. A lot of people, you know, we don't. I don't talk about it a lot. Like the shit I deal with, just because no one cares. You know, like y you have to fight those wars on yourself, and everyone goes through shit. 
but we've gone through a lot together as brothers and dealt with a lot of adversity and things within our family that are just really, really tough. And uh, it was it was rooted in that. And I think this that fight symbolized like overcoming all of that adversity and leaving it behind. Um, so I think that's why it was emotional. But now it's time for me to go and avenge him and, and beat Gib, beat KSI, and uh, show him who's boss. Have you, well obviously he's your brother, but how has he been since that? Like has he said that he wants to do this stuff again? Yeah, he wants to keep fighting, that's what I'm saying. Like at the end of the day, we love it and I, I think he's a better fighter than KSI. That's what everyone who watched the fight said. Uh, if it weren't for the two points, he would have won. So I think there's many more fights for him to come down the line. And Antonio Brown called him out. Uh, there's a lot of people to fight, but this is something we're super passionate about, and it's fun. So yeah, I think he's going to keep going for sure. Out of the two of you, would you say like you're the more like natural, like hunger, like uh, like killer instinct between the two of you guys, or how would you rate you and him in comparison to this boxing training? Yeah, that, that's what a lot of people say. You heard Vidal say it just now in the press conference. Like Jake's a better boxer. Jake's a better boxer. Logan says Jake's a better boxer. Uh, yeah, I think I think I definitely just have a natural ability for it. And I have that killer mentality. Logan, people talked about Logan and I fighting. And Logan was like, oh, I don't want to punch him in the face. I was like, I'll punch you in the face right now. So I just You must think, not like that. Nice. You're like, come on, little bro. Like, he's don't be a, like that. He's, like a, he's a nice, loving kid. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. For you, you know, this is one of many ways to get uh, income, to get your name and your brand out there as well. At the end of the day, you said you're an entertainer. But what's, like, the end game with, with all this? Like, do you want to continue this? Or it's just whatever, there's, like, a good opportunity, you'll go ahead and do it. Yeah, boxing, boxing is the main focus right now. That's what I've dedicated my life to for the past like five months. Uh, and we'll see where it takes us. I think, I think for me, I've done YouTube, I've become the best at it, but it has a cap. And you can only take YouTube so far, and I've already done it. I've already taken it to the farthest extent. And for me, boxing is, is super fun. Uh, super exciting, great business, and I don't think there's a cap. You look at people like Floyd Mayweather who are billionaires from it. At the end of the day, I want to be a billionaire, so. That, that's why it's exciting to me. I would think MMA would be an option as well, given your wrestling base, right? Yeah, I just think, like, I don't know. Like, I think MMA is just different. And, and I think I sense that boxing is making a huge, huge comeback due to the heavyweights division that's, that's forming right now due to some of the young, exciting, up-and-coming fighters. Um, and then with a cherry on top is like YouTubers getting involved. So I think people are starting to get more excited about boxing and I want to be involved with that. Do you think this is like you guys are pioneering something that we're going to see as a standard like from now on? Like you guys are, are doing something so far in ahead that maybe five years, six years from now, like we're going to see this incorporated to like the big marquee pay-per-view fights uh, on the boxing landscape? A hundred percent. I think we're less than 12 months away from that already happening. DAZN just put out the numbers uh, for their most watched fights from 2019. It was Ruiz and Joshua, a couple, like two soccer matches, and then Logan versus KSI. Um, and so if it's already at that level after the first or second fight, then who knows what the future holds. So ultimate goal is getting revenge for your brother. You want to go in a fight with KSI. That, that's the goal after this, if you are victorious. 100% it's going to happen. 100% yeah. it's going to happen. What happens then? Well, what do you do differently from your brother, you feel? What, what do you bring to the table differently my, than your brother? My brother didn't throw punches. He just backed up and moved away the whole fight like this. Um, I'm going to throw punches. I'm going to let my hands go. I'm going to get dirty. KSI is a dog, uh, and I'm a dog too, and we're going to see who has a bigger bite. But my technique is even better than Logan's, and Logan was still able to be, have better technique than KSI. So I'm just really, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Logan didn't throw his right hand until like the fourth round. Uh, and then KSI got hit with one punch, an uppercut, and dropped to the mat. So we know he has a glass chin. I know your brother put in the, the work. It was reflective on his performance. And I think uh, boxing fans, when they see this, it's, it's it's either two ways that they're open to it or they're kind of abrasive to it because they see like these new people mm -hmm. coming in and potentially making a mockery of boxing. Yeah. But what they want to see, I, I think from what I've noticed is that you actually like train it and put the work. Your brother uh, has done that. I know Shane wouldn't have linked up with you yeah. if you weren't dedicated and haven't been putting in the work either. Yeah, no, 100 percent. I, I would just tell people who are skeptical of it to give it a chance. You know, anyone who is man enough to get in the ring, like, 
you should give them a chance. Like oh, it, takes a it, takes, it takes a lot more than people think. And so if you haven't been in the ring, uh, I wouldn't hate on people who are getting in the ring, especially with no headgear, 10 ounce gloves, and putting it all on the line. Uh, so give it a chance, and, and yeah, we're taking it seriously. We're not. I, it's an honor to be a part of the boxing community. It's an honor for me to even be trained by Shane, and I, I'm just happy that you know some people are accepting. So that's good. Hey, good chat, Jake. Uh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.